So hi everybody, boys and girls. I I saw this uh, video recently of uh, a demo uh, with Eevee, so <laughs> I realized that uh, the the rigging seems to work so far. The reflections, uh, lots of texture features that seems to be implemented. So I decided to uh, give it a try by myself. So I've got this project that I've made. Uh, maybe two weeks ago. Um, it's the Razor Wasp. Um, the Razor Wasp with... Um, it's, it's a kind of wasp with a kind of fly head. Um, it's kind of weird. Some some sharp things there and there. So you see there razor, there a pair of scissors, and of course a big syringe instead of the abdomen. So um, I decided to give it a try into the, um, the new Eevee song. Let me just show you at first um, how the project looked like. Uh, the shark wasp, yes. Here it is. It's gonna stut stutter. It's stuttering. I'm using the same computer I'm using to uh, use Blender and recording with the webcam, so it stutters sometimes. So here it, here it is. So the angle we saw in the picture was like that. And uh, as we can see, it's, of course, it was all done in uh, 2.79. So of course, there is no surprise there. So let me just show you the scene. It's quite empty. It's some uh, BS trees over there. So we're not here for 2.79. We're here for 2.80 Eevee which I'm a very uh, proud uh, supporter. As soon as I, I got my rocket, I saw some huge improvements in the software. I don't know if it's uh, related. So let me just look through all the stuff I got there to open the 2.8. So 2.8, the shark wasp, same project not modified it's the same exact same project um i didn't change anything for it to work so as you can see already it's the um, the basic view uh, of course as always you always change first the render engine to ev first in order to use the new engine and i don't know if you see what i see but it's so smooth so far so of course, EV is the real-time engine, so we're not gonna look at some clay there. We're gonna switch to EV, and it's gonna think a bit. Fourth. So here it is. So as you can see, some textures uh, don't show, and. I found a fix for that. It seems that every time I open a, a, an, an old project with 2.8, I have to go over the materials there and kind of nudge the textures in order to see the the UVs that I've done. So you see the head now displays the UVs, now the torso and the abdomen. Here it is. So you can see all the colors show now. Um, same thing for the glass flower, same story there. It's there's the, the edges of the, of the petals um, are supposed to kind of bleed there. So this wasn't displayed. And I don't know if you tried EV before, but this is right now is already a world record. I can do all this without it crashing. So you see here, it seems that some more subdivision seems to do a better job. So if we look at the at the first, um, actually the um, the scene render that I've done in the, the past versions, it starts to look a bit like it. Um, see? Of course, uh, the depth of field is not uh, played onto the, uh, the preview there, but it starts to look a lot like. What's missing also is the um, the rust stains that I've made on the uh, on the claws, also some um, some scratches on the scissors. But now it doesn't seem to 
it doesn't appear the same way uh, as the render in 2.79 but you're gonna fix things and I have to also change some things there and there also this texture it seems that like the normal mapping is um, it's not perfect um, shader editor here we go so I found out that if I change the strength too glossy of course but it's, it seems to to work a bit better here we go no ah, anyway lots of stuff to fix down there I realize also that the, um, okay, here, another texture that needs to be nudged. Here we go. So we can see this, but we cannot see the same thing as I've used there. There's some kind of two materials mixed together to, sh uh, to have this effect. There's a, a main uh, reflections there, a reflection there, and also there's a kind of velvet effect, just like if you look onto a, a fly uh, eye, it would look a little bit like this. So I tried to recreate this um, with 2.79. It seems like I need to do some more work uh, for it to show this. Yeah, I'm actually using the um, the velvet BSDF there. So maybe ah, uh, see, yeah, you see some reflections there that doesn't, yeah. Not bad, actually. Not bad at all. Maybe more velvety. I don't know. No, I guess the velvet bit it simply doesn't work so far. Yeah, the more I put the glossy, the more it looks like what I want, but it's not supposed to be this way. Anyway, also, um, okay, let's just change. So, also, yeah, the glass BSDF doesn't seem to work, and also it seems that they merged some layers together, or I don't know actually, maybe some um, there were some relations between um, an object and a child object because, as you can see, there's a glass um, a glass tube for the syringe. Actually, it's just the same piece of material, the tip and the and. You see, there are two layers of it, so I guess they merged uh, the um, some uh, instances of the same object onto the same layer, onto the same collection. I don't know how the algorithm works, but it looks like looked like it did. Um, and also now you can see the the fluid inside the syringe, so, so you can see the glass doesn't uh, is isn't transparent. It's highly reflective, but it, you cannot see through. And I try with the um, uh, how do you call that? The principal BSDF and put the transmission on and it doesn't seem to, to work either. So, And of course the hair don't show the way it's supposed to be on the final render so this is a quick fix. You simply go over hair here and you put strips on. Some subdivision, it doesn't do so much because are very short it's a wasp so and I guess that um, the hair BSDF doesn't work not BSDF but uh, the hair shader doesn't work so far so there's a texture right there so as you can see whenever I'm using another shader just like the beloved principal BSDF, it works. And I can use um, the same color ramp I used before, but instead with colors. So, yeah, so I'm just using this 
and this as a factor between these two colors. Actually, the color around there is using the um, is uh, mapping the colors onto the length of the um, the hair, every particle of the hair. So if I just plug it into the base color, we'll see two colors. Of course, it's backward. I said and it crashed. It crashed. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. So <laughs> actually it's more than 10 minutes I've been into the software without it crashing. So there's a very big hope coming. Uh, usually it's two minutes and then it crashed and then you uh, you give up. <laughs> but uh, now Every week is like exponentials. Uh, you guys over the Blender community, if everybody, anybody listens to this, you guys are doing an amazing job. And, uh, you're making lots of uh, dreams come true uh, playing with that engine. It's very uh, powerful and uh, it changes the whole, it's a game changer actually. It changes the, the whole community. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. See you maybe on the next videos. I don't know if it's if, uh, hit the like button if you liked it and uh, see you next time. Bye.